Okay, guys, uh, nice uh, victory. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel here in Galin? Great. Awesome fans, great people, great team, great guy. I think uh, the fir first, even first day I came over here, everybody was very supportive, and I think uh, this place is awesome. Uh, people are awesome. Uh, yeah, it's all. I, it's it's great. I can't even explain how nice it is here and loving it. <laughs> and then when we see you on the ice, uh, you got uh, three uh, assists and uh, one goal. Yeah. That's. Uh, Normal, <laughs> I think, because if you see uh, all the games uh, afterwards, uh, I think it's just. Uh, I think the guys that I play with and. Uh, Happy uh, birthday! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guys that I play with and uh, uh, I think we get if we're uh, having a good chemistry. Uh, yeah, I think that's. Uh, it's I can I can't do it all by myself. So it's all to all the. It's all the guys and uh, they're being uh, good chemistry, being being supportive, and uh, it's yeah, yeah. It's your birthday uh, today. Yeah. Uh, were you extra motivated? Uh, I would say so. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's uh, it's first. It's a first birthday without my uh, mom being alive. So I think it's uh, it was a special day for me as well. And uh, uh, she's always next to me. I feel like and always uh, guarding me and. Uh, uh, that is being uh, supportive and back home. So. Do you feel? Do you feel that also in the game? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Every time I step on the ice, it's a uh, shout out, shout out to my mom in uh, in heaven. So um, yeah, I can't even explain it uh, what it, what it's like, but it's uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Keep your mom in your uh, in your uh, always, always in your head, yeah. and uh, then it will uh, come yeah. okay. Hey, um, what is ab about the situation? I mean. Everyone knows the situation yeah. in Ukraine, in your own country. Yeah. Uh, how is it then to play here, uh, where it's nothing, nothing from war? Yeah, uh, it's. Uh, I still have my dad back home in Kiev. Uh, I talk to him every day, so make sure he's uh, he's good and uh, he's in good health. Make sure. Uh, yeah, but the situation is still shit. Yeah, situation is still shit, and I hope it's gonna be over someday. And because uh, I think it's not just Ukraine's that being aff uh, getting affected by it. I think all the countries getting affected by it by the war. And I think uh, as soon as uh, gonna be over, the better is for the whole world. But uh, uh, it's obviously uh, really sad what's going on in my country and. Uh, um, yeah, and all the I want to give uh, all the um, uh, to our warriors that are uh, fighting there for our country. Uh, give them really, they're real fighters. Here, it's nothing what I like here on the ice. It's nothing compared to what they do out there. So, uh, shout out to them for uh, doing it for our country. Do you talk uh, to your uh, uh, teammates about the situation? Uh, some do they ask you? Yeah, sometimes they do. They just ask, uh, how's the How's my dad and stuff? How's my family doing? Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, yeah, all I can say is I hope it's gonna be over someday. So uh, nobody knows when, but uh, yeah, uh, I talked to guys about it, and obviously it's hard to talk about it, but uh, like it's the truth. What's going on in our country? Everybody knows it. So heads off. Yeah. Heads up. Uh, heads off <laughs> because of your uh, yeah situation and then. Uh, you're doing very well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. And and the uh, the people over here, the, the supporters, they uh, like it also. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. How did how was he today? Oh, he was awesome. I I felt bad because we let one goal in, so uh, it would be nice to have a shout out shout out for him. But uh, ah, sorry, uh, we tried, we tried, <laughs> but uh, uh, he did a great job. I think he's uh, if uh, he didn't get a best player of the game, he would have got ahead. But I felt like. Uh, uh, one is enough for him, <laughs> so so he wouldn't get too high up there. So trying to keep him low on the ground. Yeah, Johan, Johan, how feel you? Yeah, you you let one goal go, what what I didn't need was, but you start some poker party to keep it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I feel me well good. But yeah, it's balen dan bij die ene goal. Op een gegeven moment heb je als ook wel in je achterhoofd een beetje van misschien gaat lukken. Probeer er niet zo over na te denken. En dan ja, dan krijg je zo'n zo'n goaltje tegen en dan krijg je van ja. Shit. <laughs> maar je weet tegen wie je speelt, hè? Tegen Heerenveen, daar wordt niet te vaak van gewonnen. Ja. ja, ik denk dat we gewoon alles moeten winnen wat we kunnen winnen. Ja. Dus we waren vandaag gewoon echt het betere team, vond ik ook. Maar uh, veel feller op de puk en alles vond ik. We speelden echt in het slot bij ons, uh, in ons verdedigingspak, speelden we echt heel sterk. 
Dus ik denk gewoon dat we gewoon als team effort echt gewoon verdiend gewonnen hebben. Vertel eens over jezelf, wie ben je eigenlijk? Je bent lang genoeg, dat wel. Ja, dat wel, ja. ja. Dat moet ik uh, vertellen. Waar kom je vandaan? Uh, ik kom uit een uh, klein dorpje, Lage Zwaluwe. Ligt uh, net onder de Biesbos, nog wel in Brabant. Uh, 4000 inwoners ben ik uh, opgegroeid. Uh, ben ik begonnen met ijshockey in Dort, toen ik uh, drie jaar oud was. Al lekker vroeg begonnen. En toen al uh, best snel naar Tilburg gegaan, in de U8 nog. En dan in Tilburg uh, ja, eigenlijk de jeugd gespeeld. En heb ik uh, in de onder 16, onder 17, heb ik uh, drie jaar in Duitsland gespeeld. Bij uh, Iselon. Met mijn broer ook daar zo. En na die drie jaar ook een beetje met corona en uh, importregels daar en zo, uh, ben ik weer teruggegaan naar Tilburg. Um, heb ik daar um, ja, een beetje tussen Oberliga en Eredivisie ingezeten. Um, in de Eredivisie samen met mijn broer gespeeld. Ja, dus dat was heel erg leuk. En dan uh, af en toe bij de Oberliga wat meepakken. En um, ja, meer veel meetrainen ook en zo. Nou, dat is je goed bevallen, maar uh, ik denk dat uh, je niet voor niks die stap naar Geleen hebt gemaakt. Ja, klopt. Daar zit een gedachte achter. Daar zit een gedachte achter, ja. Um, in, de, in Tilburg hebben ze twee goede goalies natuurlijk, uh, Ruud en Cedric. En ik zit een beetje net niet erbij, zeg maar. En ik wilde gewoon ook een stap hoger maken naar, uh, naar Benelik. En daar uh, ja, ben ik eigenlijk bij Geleen uitgekomen, via Jeffrey ook. En dat voelt ook als een stap hoger? Ja, sowieso. Ja, het voelt wel echt als een stap hoger. En, uh, de wedstrijd en zo is veel hoger niveau. De trainingen zijn ook echt uh, hoog niveau. Ik vind het ook echt leuk hier. Goed zo, dan weten we tenminste wie Johan is en dat je graag in die goal staat. Bedankt voor de puikenpartij die je vanavond hebt gespeeld. Ja, geen probleem. Ik hoop het vaker te kunnen doen. One question uh, more for you, uh, Jeffkin. Uh, uh, you train the youth also over here, hè? Eh? Or is it, is it uh, on a regular basis or was it just one, uh, one time? Uh, just uh, if you need to help out, I can come and help out. It's just uh, if the coach... You have nothing to do else. Uh, actually, I'll help out Kai a little bit with uh, his uh, window cleaning. So, <laughs> so just to do something uh, during the day because uh, my, uh, my uh, fiance is uh, working in uh, Sittard. Uh, yeah, sit hard and uh, so I'm by, by myself so I ask Kai if I can help him out with work so I help out during the day and then go practice. So. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah.